This is narrowboat Percheron. She was built in 2012 by Norton Keynes and fitted by Aquarius narrowboats down on the river way. She's a traditional stern and has an extra large hatch at the rear. The paintwork is in lovely condition and the boat was repainted in 2016 by Norton Keynes at Glasgow Basin. So we start in the saloon and the area is heated by a more so squirrel solid fuel stove. The boat's central heating system is the diesel fired Robasto Thermotop C. You can see here there's freestanding furniture. And there's a bench seat there uh, which has two demountable tables. We head now into the galley. It's a really lovely space. You've got the roof lights above letting lots of light in. The windows are opening and on the port side there are some side hatches. The worktops are all quartz um, and it's equipped with everything that you would expect in the galley. There's the four ring gas hob, 12 volt fridge uh, with an ice box and you've also got the eye level oven and grill. The boat has a walk through bathroom which is located between the galley and the bedroom. The shower is a quadrant unit with tiles and uh, sliding doors. There's a sink that sits on a vanity unit and again the quartz mirrors the uh, galley and the toilet is a uh, standalone cassette toilet. The bedroom has a four foot double bed and there's a large wardrobe at the end. The uh, bedroom has a very spacious feel to it and also above the bed we have some cupboard units. Coming from the bedroom we enter the engine room. The engine room houses a washing machine, uh, there's cupboards under and over. The cupboards next to the washing machine have the boat's electrical system and there's a 3 kilowatt Victron inverter in there. The boat's powered by a Beta Marine 43 with a PRM150 gearbox and there's about 2,500 hours on the clock. Some footage of the boat underway here so you can appreciate the uh, traditional paint scheme and just look at how good condition the paint is in and you can see there the uh, solar panels on the cabin top they're both about 250 watts a piece and you can see that there's a grained roof with the diamond patterns and really lovely colour scheme. Here we have some footage of the boat going into the basin, just showing you how well the boat turns and uh, he makes his turn and he doesn't even have to use the bow thruster. If you'd like more details on this boat please head over to our website, more photographs, uh, detailed layout plan and full description of the boat systems.